Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman goes viral for marrying herself. <laughs> Don't believe me? Check this shit out. Hey, my name is Danny, and I married myself on December the 10th, 2022. Will you commit to never giving up until your dying day? Do you promise to give yourself grace? Do you commit to praying and finding the answers within yourself? Do you promise to value yourself? Yes, <laughs> I do. I overcame. <laughs> hey. Yo, was she looking into a mirror and talking to herself? <laughs> oh man. Um, I'm not going to pause this a bunch. I'm not going to pause this a bunch. I'm going to try to get through this shit right here, man. Whew. A lot of trauma and it inspired me to marry myself. I realized I wasn't living for myself and this wedding was my chance to start over. I spent $4,000 on my wedding. I had nine bridesmaids. I'm not the only one getting married today. You are too. So there is a bag in your chair with a ring in it. At my wedding, I asked everyone else to marry themselves too. I now pronounce you married to yourself. People not treat me differently. They're thinking like, ooh, she can afford her wedding on her own. She's confident. She loves herself. That's right. I say this to you, Danny, and to all of your guests. Let no one separate you from the love of yourself. There is no such thing as overdoing celebrating yourself. Some people buy themselves a bag. Some people buy themselves a nice cruise. Some people get married. To a man. Me? I gave myself a wedding. It's about the power invested in me as your friend. Ow! I now pronounce you a married woman. You may not get yourself. Uh, okay. Real quick, um, before we let Dr. Phil there, I'm so glad that 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 there's a section of people that wake up from shows like Dr. Phil. I mean, my goodness, the type of stuff that we were subjected to watch when we were younger before YouTube. All you had was this. All you had was Dr. Phil. All you had were these blue pill shows feeding you crazy, 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 crazy shit. Real quick, guys, what were your immediate thoughts about that? Comment down below. I'm curious. What were your immediate thoughts after watching this? Um, I think this is kind of sad. And I don't mean in a, sad in a way of I feel bad for her because I actually don't. It's more like sad in a way of like awkward, right? Because because it looks sad. It looks like this is a sad life to be living. Again, I don't feel sorry for this woman. And here's why. And I, and I know some of you thinking, you're not supposed to feel sorry for her. No, no, no. This is some sad shit. But it's not sympathy because again, I don't think this woman would be celebrating herself at the marriage if she was married, but most likely she doesn't want to deal with working things out with the man. She's strong. She's independent. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to watch the rest of this video, but before I get into it, I want to say this. Forbes predicts by 20, 30, 45% of prime working age women between 25 and 44 in the U.S. will be single. The largest share in history up from 41% in 2018, according to a 35-page study titled Rise of the she Economy by investment bank Morgan Stanley. In total, the single population will grow by an average annual rate of 1.2% through 2030 to 77.5 million compared to a 0.8% percent growth rate for the overall u.s population now i've talked about this probably many times you heard other people talk about this for sure it's nothing new the things that like do people actually believe this do you know what the future is going to look like well you're getting a pretty good taste of it right now this is a coping mechanism to a woman who i believe has figured out that she's probably not going to get married not because she can't find a man don't get it twisted man it's because a lot of women like this fail to correctly estimate their value in the dating market AKA think they deserve what they really don't at the end of the day. Don't get it twisted. Most women today can have a man. They just all want the man instead of being realistic. She got the rest of this video, man. Let's get it. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Phil. This was a big thing. It was a serious thing. How much thing. did you spend on it? 
only the price of four Beyonce tickets, $4,000. <laughs> Did you have as much fun as a Beyonce concert? <laughs> I haven't been yet. <laughs> Hopefully I'm on the list. But yes, I have a lot of fun. Okay. So why do this? Because you, the fact that you love yourself, 100% would support. I mean, the, the fact that you would make that declaration to yourself, that you would make that declaration to others, that you would live that way, that you would embrace self-love, taking care of yourself, making yourself a priority, everything that this seems to commemorate for you, I think is great. And I think it's, it's wonderful that you would treat yourself that way. But why do you need this to commemorate that? I grew up going to weddings my whole life, and I was taught that they were about love, joy, commitment, you know, so I wanted to show that and share that with my family and my friends. Did you doubt that in yourself? Uh, before, I experienced a lot of traumatic things growing up and in my younger days, and so I didn't always have self-love. I didn't always give ev myself everything that I needed, and I went on this long therapeutic journey. I stopped drinking, stopped having sex, and I said, now it's time. I, I went to therapy. It's time to marry myself. I have something that I've never had before, and my cup is full. Okay. So when you married yourself, you loved yourself mm -hmm. already. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Was this just to declare it to the world? It was to share it. Um, at my wedding, I told my family and friends all the what things. What did they think about it? They thought, well, at first, my mama <laughs> thought it was crazy. Okay. Uh, my dad walked away from me and said, come on, Les, that's my mom's name. Like, don't listen to her, she's crazy. Um, and then afterwards, they, they thought it was cool. They experienced it and they understood. I think my dad had to go through the entire process to understand. Yeah, because it is atypical. It's not a common thing. Yeah. It's getting more common, but... Um, but where and, it is cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Uh, also joining us virtually is Danny's mom, Celeste. Um, what kind of bride was she, Celeste? She was very extra at first. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at the um, at the practice, um, she was just, yeah, I don't want to call her bridezilla, but she was almost there. Um, <laughs> giving all these orders. All, you had to keep going through the practice over and over, but it was really exciting. Yeah. Were you a bridezilla? Only at the rehearsal, yes. Okay. All right. Now it's time to keep it real. It's time for the difficult questions. Notice how on this panel, Dr. Phil avoids answering the real, uh, asking, I'm sorry, the real questions. The elephant in the room. Um, well, you know, you, you, you typically, when people do this thing, they're getting married to a man and they're having a wedding, right? Do you plan on getting married? Question that they're gonna avoid because those are hot topics. <laughs> Right. Or um, do you do you why, have you gotten married before? Why aren't you why aren't you looking for her? is 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 this marrying yourself an alternative to getting married to a man? And if so, do you plan to raise up kids as a single mother? Maybe you plan to adopt. What the F is really going on here? I think we're going to see more of this stuff. People marrying themselves, etc. We will. It's just what's going to come with 45 percent of prime working age women being single, refusing to settle down, get married, because most of them believe that they cannot find men who are economically attractive enough for them while still demanding equal pay. We know women exercise hypergamy, etc. They've pretty much messed up their own dating experience because they failed to accept female nature for what it truly is. Crazy shit. As always, guys, curious to know what you think. Comment down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.